Hey everybody, Rubicon here, starting a Gungs and Zan Three Kingdoms Total War playthrough. So excited to get this underway. Starting with Gungs and Zan, the White Horse General. A couple of key things for this Warlord's faction: 50% plus reinforcement range, and 12% armor for all shock cavalry. Very, of course, the White Horse General. You expect him to be a little bit more cavalry focused. Unique features does have the White Horse Raiders and the White Horse Fellows available for rank six or higher so their upgraded version they're much better at melee than the skirmishers then the military government chain income from all sources a boost to that plus public order and also starting with the light in the dark xiao yun again pronunciations i'm not as familiar with them so if i mispronounce something please just let me know and i will do my best to correct it we are on the romance campaign so let's dive right in 火气吹飞,点亮夜色 公孙在,自强不息,与贼臣相抗衡 终于汉帝的将军们立即做出回应懂贼此行劫千天子联军即将瓦解 Your cavalry bray. That's an awesome way to start. So, at first, establish your power. China is in chaos. This is actually a fascinating historical time period in China. I love history, but if you've never heard of this before, I actually hadn't until Three Kingdoms really came out. It is an intriguing and very interesting time period, so it's pretty cool. Obviously, Romance of the Three Kingdoms is the novel. I think it was written in the 14th, is it the 1400s or the 14th century? I'm not sure which. But basically, it's up there with the Iliad as far as legendary heroes go so haven't read that yet but would probably like to delve into it at some point i've read the wikipedia articles on it so be wary of gong sun du he's to the north and liu yu to the south and to the west of us so engage the following general and army zhao kian taste of victory plus 30 supplies 55 morale for a couple turns so here he is so before we do that let's take a quick look at the map so the Han is right here. That's going to be our first priority. Secure this area. Leo Yu's down here. Han Fu is right here. He's a bit of the story part of the Three Kingdoms uh, lore, if you will, later on. And then Huang Shao, Huang Shao excuse me, is over here. He is the Yellow Turbans. And then down here is the Coalition Yuan Shao, Mr. Vassalize himself. And then here is Yu Yang, the fallen capital, Dong Zhuo holding the child emperor there as a puppet but our first priority taking care of this army so we're going to 
get right into it. We do have some uh, ancillaries. Ooh, hello. Uh, Twin Marshal Yi, G, excuse me, the Clay Cup, and Area. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but Area. So, 8 Authority, 8 Satisfaction. So, let's see what we can give you guys. So, you have Dreadbringer, which is your normal weapon, your armor, regular steed. Let's give you the Authority, just because that helps with satisfaction and then authority satisfaction and trade influence and authority satisfaction so we will give you that and then uh, Xiao Yun you get the leftovers you get the clay cup just to boost your satisfaction uh, pretty high you're actually not too happy right now that's kind of interesting um, so this is a 2.1 melee damage, 9 expertise, uh, and 9 instinct. Instinct is damage, expertise is avoidance. This is interesting though, so resolve is health. 1.4 base. So it's actually, it's split, so the base is higher. It's the same attack rate though. That's actually very interesting. So it's the same. It's the same attack rate, but you also here. Let's see. So if we, if we give you this, that drops you to plus five percent melee damage. That brings you up to plus seven, plus thirty, plus thirty six, plus forty. So you get four percent more health at the reduction of two percent of damage, but you're actually doing two point eight in total and a higher base rate, and you get charge speed bonus. Uh, that's, that's tricky. Um, they're both exceptional, so it's not like they're that outrageously different. You also get charge speed, but you're fast anyway. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna stick with, we're gonna stick with, with that for now. Uh, if you, if you think differently, leave it in the comment section. Just because, I mean, it is kind of his thing, plus the, I haven't done the exact math to break it down let's see where's the detailed effects so let's see if we where's where are your actual stats okay so if we give you if we give you this your melee power drops actually no wait it goes up Oh yeah, we're, we're giving you this then. If your melee power goes up, it goes up from 18 to 19. And then also your melee toughness increases. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's get in here and fight this. Close victory, 902 against 601. We will see how long that lasts though, once we unleash the light in the dark on the enemy general. I do like the initial musings of the generals. Kind of beats the old school Rome Total War full on general speech that's just recycled over. Oops. Archers back here. side and we will start so we'll get Tung Tung Zan up there just to make it easier group lock for group attack Flames of the Phoenix does have splash damage. 7.5k splash damage, so that's pretty nice. Let's see. Almost in range, and you're going to challenge me. So. Get in there for the charge. Ooh, knocked him off. And the 
archers, white horse raiders already in there. Let's turn and charge. Come at them from a couple different angles. This probably will finish him off. Okay. Didn't really do that much, but. Yeah, he's going down. Probably popped that a little too soon, but. Hit the spears from the side, because they're not braced. Design, get in there with the cavalry. That's almost over. Cavalry reform. Go after the archers. Power. We've lost about 40. Get some splash damage in there. Here's a Don, you go after them. A little triple speed for the cleanup. So you can quit shooting at him. Get in there. That is the cool thing about too. They can fire while they're on the move. So that's, I love that. Oh, come on. There we go. And we'll claim the victory. Decisive victory, not a bad start to the campaign. 857, I think we lost about 40 something. They only had 17 left, so not a very good day for them. 177, 128. We lost 45. Not bad. Gained some money. Uh, I'll take the money. Right off the bat. Taste of victory. So we get the additional military supplies and morale. Not bad. Capture the following settlements, the Iron Mine, Glorious Victory, Bonus Experience, excellent. Friends and Rivals. Let's see. Um, so in the early going, let's see. The early going. See, I don't go away. Alright, so let's get in there. Take the iron mine. Decisive victory. I'm just going to delegate it. I don't think we'll lose too many people. Okay, 206, a little higher, but they'll replenish quickly. So we get support from the people, plus 5 public order, plus 25 faction wide support. Nice. Border cities transform. Economy grows as the reward, negative 20% construction cost, negative one construction time, constructor upgraded building. All right. Okay, so we can, we have zero food right now. So getting more food is always a good idea. So we can get plus one here, or we can get a drifter farming camp to increase food production because we're, well, uh, 25 percent increase of zero is still zero so let's pop this in we will get that speed constructions 1400 yeah that's a little too much don't since i can't recruit anything can i set up a trade agreement with anybody yes uh gongson do i will trade with you uh can i oh okay now let's get some let's get money from you if you can 259, not bad. So, a little extra money in the pocket. 
get 907 income. That's 2600. So we could we could probably do this next turn, but we also need to recruit more men to take the trade port. So we will do that. Nothing else really going on. Already looked at that. And we will end the turn for the very fast end turn phase, since I can't really see anybody. <laughs> so the trade port's going to be next, so we can unify this commandery. 2800, not bad. Let's see, if I want to upgrade that, that's four turns. I do get plus 200% income, except I do need... to get a strategist. 450, 120, get two archers. Not bad. And then I do want to get a trebuchet because that will make a huge difference. So 1509. Don't think I'm going to recruit anybody else for the time being. I could get some frontline troops. I have spears already. The G infantry. I think we'll be okay for now. Another archer unit wouldn't be a bad idea, but we'll get one more archer unit. That leaves me with about 1300 and a decent income for next turn. We're starting to build him up. That will be done. We'll get the extra one. What can I do for assignments? Um, oh, uh, three, negative three mustering turns. That'll be handy. 15 come from peasantry, 50 corruption. Commerce, what's my oh, okay, so plus 75. No, we're gonna go, we're gonna pop you in there just because I want the commerce, I want the income bonus and the mustering. The mustering is the mustering, it's really not going to make a huge difference. I'm not trying to assemble a huge army here. The economy grows. Negative 20 construction costs. Excellent. An army is called for. Maintain 15 units at the start of your turn. Growing might. Temp. Okay. So let's see. I could. I think you call. Okay, so I could upgrade you. I think I'm going to upgrade this because it gets me more prestige, higher population, more reserves, and it also doesn't cut into my food resources just yet. So we're going to pop you in, and then I might, I might just go ahead and fill out, I don't think I have enough money to do that though, unless, where is my buddy, my buddy, uh, Gong Sun Du, you like me a lot, I mean, we are related, so can I trade you anything, ooh, hello, hold, hold that thought. Ancillaries. A black stallion. Plus six cunning. 20% charge bonus. Uh, well, we'll give you for the cunning here. Just because it gives you more ammo. And then you have the clay cup. Okay, so that was that was in use. Um, I'm not using the spear though. Strong cap. Not using the spear, so I may just I'll basically sell it to you. Yeah, you're equipped. I'll just sell you this, and you really like that because you are you are an underdog. You like large or aggressive factions. Some are born to rule. Some are born to serve. I'm guessing he is in the service category. Let's see. 500. Oh, I can go higher. Okay. 666. Alright. Maybe let's try 650. Uh, 655? Hey. Pleasure doing business with you. So now we have a little bit more money. We are just going to... I could get another spear unit. Uh, 
The thing that I'm worried about is I currently have four archery, four archer units. I need to I need to actually save that slot for a trebuchet. That's gonna be 250. I can't get. I don't have enough for the cavalry. Um, I'm I'm gonna get a spear just because I can protect the flanks if there are any cavalry. And let's see, three turns. If I take you out, does it stay the same? Eight turns. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold hold you up. Or actually. Get that idea. Get back in there. Keep replenishing. Yan Yang, you are <laughs> Yang Yang. You are low satisfaction, and I don't really have anything for you to do at this point because I can't do any inspectors because I don't have a full commander yet. So you can just bye bye. We will end our turn on that note. The, nobody's caused any trouble yet. Aha! Growing might. 10 plus replenishment. Excellent. So, I gain momentum. If I hold 3, I get negative 20% recruitment cost. Oh wait, what was that? Sun Jian, killed at the Battle of Zhang Yang, cut down in a hail of arrows. Well, looks like Little Conqueror is going to be up faster than he anticipated. Okay, yeah, so one turn. Excellent. Yeah, let's head for the trade port. It's going to take us a little bit to get there, but more time for us to replenish. That's going to be done in two turns. Can't upgrade you yet. I'm going to be saving money for the next couple turns, though. So there's the toolmaker and the town. Not bad. And we also have a reform. So let's take a look at what that could be. So a couple things I do want to get to. Uh, the Silk Road Expeditions. Get the Onyx Dragons. And then also at some point get the Azure Dragons. So two things that I want to get, but first it is better to just build up the economy so we're going to get 15% from the peasantry, and then we will go from there as we end the turn. All right. Let's see what we can get into this turn. So you currently have two turns until you're fully replenished. That's okay. Except, can I... I do want to get another trebuchet. So if I put you in, you're down to 349. 690. Can't recruit any cavalry. Can't get any frontline troops. I do want the trebuchet, though, just because... The sooner you get them in, the more important thing, the mo most important thing is the, the more experience they get, the more accurate they are. So getting them in at the front end is more important. So we can reach their next turn. Nobody there. Garrison, I think, is pretty weak. Yeah, Garrison's nothing to write home about. So you're just hanging out up here with your... Can I see? Did you... Did you I can't see. I can only see what you have. What you didn't, uh, you didn't take the spear that I gave you. So I want to take this, secure the commandery, pop in, an, pop in an administrator for that. Not quite sure what, what yet. And then come down here and take the fishing port, and then kind of move my way in this direction. Maybe circle back and take out Ryu Yu at the same time. So in one turn, I'll be able to reach there. So. Since there's nothing else really going on, we will end the turn. Nothing popped 
up yet. People of merit. Buildings. Large town. Very nice. So, can't really... Don't have enough money to build anything else. That's secured. Plus one food. Alright, let's get in here. A decisive victory. Um, I'll do it myself, just because I want to make sure that the trebuchet is good experience. Nice little pre-battle pep talk here. The team huddle, if you will. That's, that's going to be my new motto. Your words embolden me. Let us do great deeds. Alright, that was a little trippy right there. Alright, so trebuchets. Let's put you in the center. Spears on each flank. Of course. Back you up just a little bit. There you go. Now you're about to be mad. Alright, uh, white horse, white horse fellows. Go back here. Kung Sun Zan, you go over here. Archers, loose formation. Go behind here. Trebuchet is back here. Uh, you really can't do anything yet, so we're going to put you here. Wan Chao, we're going to put you here. We're going to group you guys together just for attack order purposes. And then group you guys together. coming out. Did not expect that. Alright, well that changes things a little bit. You fire on them. You fire there. Oh, a direct hit though. Nice. Alright, well that changes my plan a little bit. Uh, actually, you stay back. Archers, go ahead and fire at them. You don't have anybody that can duel, so you get back. Kaboom. They're a little too close now, so. Go after their archers. You guys attack. Down. You go after that group of archers. You go there. Splash! You guys switch. Trebuchets. Focus on them. Space to get in there. Everybody except Gums and Zan go after those archers. And this is uh, Gums and Zan can go over to them too. And this will be all they wrote. That is interesting. I'm kind of surprised that the AI did that. Did not make a whole lot of sense to abandon your cover. I mean, there was some because of the range of the towers, but make me come to you, whittle me down, and then start fighting. Don't sacrifice all the ground I have to cover. <laughs> Don't do my job for me of covering the ground between us when I have to be under fire. I mean, I stayed out of range the entire time for the most part. So, Treb 1655, not terrible. 7862, 15, not bad. All right. So, we have gained momentum. Negative 20% recruitment costs. That's what I like. Commander and Conquer. 
momentum. We already talked about that. Uh, I, I get it. I have momentum. Rank towards second marquee. Nice. So we're currently noble. Second marquee. We get an additional army to get us up to three armies, two assignment slots, and one trade agreement. So let's see what else. Good commandery, character developments, large town. So this is upgradable as well. And also, I'm already doing an assignment though. So let's see. Let's see, so I can't put anybody military inspector, government inspector, plus 25% income from peasantry, negative one construction time, negative three corruption, uh, negative 11% construction cost, negative plus five public order, 1k growth. Okay, that's not terrible. Uh, let's see though, cancel. Uh, industrial inspector, negative 26 construction cost for faction. Oh, sorry, that's just Minister Commander 8. 26% construction cost re reduction, 6k population growth, plus 2 public order, uh, plus 25% income from Ministry. Okay, that's not bad at all. And I don't think, no, I don't have anybody there. Economic Inspector, I can only do you. Uh, whoa, negative 4 food production for generals. I, I only have plus 1 food right now, so not interested in that. So it pretty much comes down to... So you're negative 11 plus 5, 1k. And then you were negative 26 plus 2. I'll take the population growth and the... I think... Do I have a lot of industry income? I think my industry income is here. Yeah, that's there. I don't really have any here at the moment. It's all commerce, but I get whacked. But I will take the... I don't have commerce yet. Because this gives me two building slots... I can upgrade to a small city. That's negative two, though. Um, this is commerce. Hmm. This is a tricky one. Peasantry, that's there. Negative one construction time. I just won't have any commerce. Or industry, I'm sorry. Plus 25 from industry. Six percent construction cost, though. I'm gonna do him just because it, it just it makes more sense, especially with a growing population. So we're gonna put you there, give you something to do. Zhao Young, I will probably eventually I'm gonna have to go to war with Liu Yu. So the iron mine, that's industry right there, as well as this town. So I'll put him there. Does that reduce construction enough? 15, 13, just missing out. Character developments, buildings, appointments, great. All right, so this area is secured. I'm gonna move down to the fishing port next. And but right before we do that, we will end the turn. So the goal here for this series is about 30 to 40 minutes per episode. Depends on how everything's going. Destroy the following faction, Liu Yu. Uh, threat of Liu Yu. So attack Liu Yu. Following the story of the Three Kingdoms, I'd attack Han Fu. I haven't talked to him yet, except he is he's down here. Liu Yu is right next to me, though, and he hates me anyway. I could bide my time, deal with the last of the Han Empire, and then go after Liu Yu. Uh, that's, this is a tough one. Because Gong Sun Du is not going to do anything. He likes me. He's up here. So I'm going to I'm going to attack Liu Yu. Han Fu likes me now. Let's see if is that... No, it didn't change at all. He doesn't care. All right, so we can increase our income with commerce, or we can increase our food production. Uh, seeing as I'm pretty, I'm gonna go for the fishing port though. 
So that's going to give me some of that. So for now, I'm going to upgrade and just get money as much as possible. And I don't think I have enough to recruit anybody. Could get could get an additional spear unit. Don't really need them, though. Could get saber militia. Don't really need them either. So let's see. If I sail, it is two turns. If I go down this way. I get to replenish though. Do I still replenish if I'm in the water though? Let's try it. Yep. Sweet. Am I in the water? Yes. So I wish to come down. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, hi. So you have a decent Ooh. force. So you have. G infantry, two archers, cavalry. Who are you? Taishi Chi of exceptional dexterity. So you could give. You could give. You could give me a bit of trouble. Oops. No, I want to. I want to go. I want to get out here. Well, we can go with that. Uh, so, but yeah. Anyway, for the series, thirty to forty minutes per episode is the goal uh, might do a longer episode here and there depending on how everything's going if we're really on a roll that day and we'll just keep progressing the goal too is to oh and there's a second army the goal is to start some others as well so probably going to start a warhammer one as well and then just stagger the days of when i can when i can record it and then get it edited and whatnot so all right so this is interesting so you are are you in the water all right so taishi chi is up here you are in the water though or are you like i can't tell yeah you, okay so you're just in the settlement so good news is so i can still come in can I get back on land? I can get here. And then... Okay, so I'm back on land. And I'm in my own territory. There's... Hey, buddy. There's the video. So I'm in my own territory here. You could reach me, and you could reach me. Worst case scenario... I'm not in force march, so I could retreat further, and I think you can only you can only go that far and attack me. I can definitely escape. Same for you. Let's see what's going on here. Song Jinting, what is ah, you are uh, you are needing an upgrade. Uh at forty percent administrator commandery? Yes please. You're not an administrator yet, but you will be eventually. So we'll just have that put into the time. Let's see. Diplomacy. I don't think I can get military. I don't think I need. I might need this one. How do you make this work? 2.4. Um, we're kind of in the same boat. You don't have a ton of money. I don't need it yet. So I won't go there. Let's see what, what will happen here. And also, ah, Bohai. No, okay, so there's the city. I'm not strong enough yet to take it. Actually, no, wait, I'm sorry. Actually, yes, I would be. And I have trebuchets, so they're not as experienced, but they're experienced enough. And I am at war with Liu Yu now, so there's a very good chance that he could start coming this way. I am in a, I'm in a decent position, but the thing is, I'm not going to get trapped. I, whoever I run away from... If they come here and I have to run away, or if he comes this way, I can take Liu Yu. That won't be a problem. But the Han Empire one, if they double up on me, that could get interesting. Just because I also don't have a ton of infantry right now, and you're going the other direction. And you are basically just going to... Okay, that's interesting. So you stayed. You didn't go anywhere. Uh, this is a pretty easy decision. You just gave me the fishing port. I don't think you have... No, your garrison's super weak. Huh? 
so yeah, you're just you're just gonna Are you kidding? Oh come on. That is Oh, that's annoying. <sighs> well, I'm kind of exposed now. Um <laughs> That's not quite how I planned for that to go, but we will uh, we will work with that. So you went down here. I, I think I'm according to this. I can still take you, Taisha Chi, wherever he went. That could be interesting. We do have a reform as well, so let's take care of that. Um, so we can get more money, get a trade agreement. I don't necessarily need another trade agreement at the moment. I mean, we do need to work towards that currency based economy i don't think i have much in terms of commerce though commerce oh yes actually i do so commerce and industry what's the so that's plus 10 percent plus unlocks buildings 10 percent income from all sources that's pretty hard to beat so we'll just take that buff for now and we play the waiting game because what's the I could force finish that, but also it wouldn't make sense just to save money for now. That's not really going to. Unless this is going to see a 10% boost. Ah, it should, it should be fine. Um, ah, we'll just go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're going to get basically 100 extra income per turn from it. Not a terrible trade-off. Let's see, what's the garrison like here? Garrison, so that this is the other thing too that's nice. So you are gonna be there regardless. Shit, can I give you any better equipment or? You currently have common gen. So, yeah, can't really give you much more. So let's end the turn and see what happens here. So the Han Empire is coming back. That's going to cause... Leo Yu's just sitting there. That kind of concerns me, if I'm perfectly honest. Just because if I... I won't get weakened too much here. But he he's just... Is he within... Okay, so he... I will at least have some advanced warning. Um, let's see. So, yes, yeah, more food. Never hurt anybody. We're going to go here. Go high. Close victory. We'll just give it a whirl. Nope, they're not going to give up. So this is where we are going to end for this episode. We'll be back with part two in a little bit. And we will go from there. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, feel free to put them in the comments section. Also, please give it a like uh, if you enjoy the content. Very happy to get positive and constructive feedback as well. So we will see you next time. Rubicon out.